new here, welcome back. I am so sorry for the long hiatus I had recently. So I'm finally gonna be able to get back to my one video a week. So this one I am so excited about. Fall is finally right around the corner, but unfortunately, if you live somewhere like I do, the temperatures are not going to match that. So I'm so ready for fall. It's my favorite season to dress. But like I said, the weather just doesn't allow for that in so many areas. So today I'm gonna to be bringing you three ways to wear fall floral and then ways to transition them once the weather finally starts cooling off and you can actually start incorporating layers and really having fun with your fall wardrobe. But for now, I know a lot of you are so excited for fall and you just wanna get a jump start on the fall clothing season. So this is gonna be a great way to do that. All three of the fall floral pieces will be from Target. A lot of the accessories are not, but I'll link everything down below. But the three main things are from Target. So without further ado, let's just get started. At first, I have on this fall floral romper. This is so cute. I love the tones in this. Let me come a little closer so you can see. It's a navy blue with all this beautiful brown tone floral detail. It's perfect for wearing a really cool romper, just like you would in the summertime, except it's a very beautiful fall floral. I am wearing a size medium, and I definitely could not size down in this. I mean, it just fits. There's no zipper on the sides. You have to step into it and pull it up. For me, I have very large hips, and this does not give. It also has a cute little ring belt detail here, so you could either leave it hanging. I think that's also cute. Or if you don't like that look, you could just wrap it up. I kind of like it hanging down though. You can tighten it. It really cinches in the waist and gives you good definition. Um, and then just leave the end hanging like that. So obviously this is perfect for the really hot weather. And then I just put a pair of booties on with it. These are actually perforated booties. So I don't have to wear socks with these. There's a lot of airflow. See the notch on the side? You can't really wear socks anyway. So lots of good airflow in the booties. The socks are really what make you hot. Like they hold in the heat on your feet. So perforated booties are perfect. You could also wear this with a cute little pair of flats if you had some flats you love, or you could just go ahead and keep wearing sandals. The print itself lends to the fall feel. Another really good option is obviously adding a hat. It adds a fall layer without actually covering you up. You're still nice and breezy in the hot summertime. For me, I am so hot natured. Even having a hat on would make me sweat profusely. I know that's gross, but I'm very hot natured, so I couldn't wear this right now, but depending on where you are, you may be perfectly comfortable wearing a hat. For me, I'm good with the booties alone with the fall floral. That is enough fall for me, but this is also very, very cute, and I would highly suggest, if you can stand it, a hat is the perfect fall layering piece to wear while it's still just blazing outside. Now, when the temperatures start dropping, this is the perfect time to add a cardigan over it. I am loving this new cardigan from Target. It is universal thread. It has a lot of stitching detail that has a lot of open weave. So even if it's not cold yet, you can still wear this one a lot sooner than you could a lot of other cardigans because it's very lightweight and has an open weave. Let me just go ahead and show it to you up close. Can you see all the open weave here and the straps? It's just a perfect neutral color, very lightweight and a really good length. If I'm gonna be wearing a cardigan over a little short romper or dress, I like it to be longer than the romper. So this one is perfect. It's easy and effortless looking. I do love that it has the slit on the side. It makes it look even more effortless over a romper. I love this look. This is the kind of look I normally wear to the pumpkin patch. It's so hot here still in October that this is plenty. I'll even just push up my sleeves because it gets super hot. But this leaves a little bit of airflow through the cardigan. My legs are out, but it's still really cute. And I can still survive the Texas heat in this one, so it's one of my favorites. It's very easy to wear. Then when you get to the point in the season where you'd really like your legs covered a bit more, I just put on my knee-high booties. Some over-the-knee boots would be really cute with this as well, where they come up and meet your cardigan. But I just love that this covers up a bit more of your legs, and it's also a super cute layered outfit. So I'm loving these. So just remember, you think a spaghetti strap, um, a little short romper wouldn't go past the end of the summer season. It's really easy to add in layering pieces and make it a lot warmer and also survive that beginning of fall. I'm all for bang for your buck. So this little romper I can wear now and add a few pieces and wear it on into the chillier months. 
Now for outfit number two, we have this beautiful fall floral maxi dress. How beautiful is this color? It has a perfect little knee high slit to be a little bit breezy. It has pockets and it is off the shoulder. So it's really nice and still hot weather appropriate. But then the floral and the colors just scream fall. Look how pretty that teal is and the rusty oranges. So pretty. So in this dress, I'm wearing a size small and I could definitely get away with it. But this elastic is very, very tight. So if you want to be like held in really well, if you didn't want it quite so tight if you're not comfortable in really tight elastic, I would size up a size. I think I could definitely wear a medium and be comfortable, but I could also keep this small just to let you know on sizing reference. So just like before, I added a cute little hat to go with it and add another layer. And then the shoes I'm wearing are a beautiful camel suede sandals. So it's still warm enough to wear sandals, but this one is in a beautiful fall texture. It also dresses it up a little bit. If you're looking to go somewhere and be a little bit more dressy, this would be the perfect outfit because it is heeled sandals. Of course, you can wear flat sandals and you can wear flats, whatever kind of shoe that you wanted to wear, but this is how I would dress this up just a little bit. I love it. Of course, this would also be cute without a hat if that's just too much for you if you'd never wear something like that. It's still cute just like this some flat sandals, and you've got a really good casual outfit as well. And then this dress is just a touch trickier to transition into cooler weather, in my opinion, just because of the off the shoulder, but you could definitely just grab a jacket. I think something really cute would be to pull the blogger move and just put a jacket, drape it over your shoulders. It would keep your arms warm, um, and it would just look really chic as well. So that's just a really chic look, but then of course you could just, if you feel stupid doing that, um, like sometimes I would, you could just go ahead and put it on because they are nice and elastic and not flowy. Um, it still works. They stay in place and you just have a square neck look to it like that. So I'm still wearing the sandals, but I typically wear sandals up until the winter time. You could include booties. You could do a knee high boot would be really cute as well. And just have a peep of that when you walk. And also you don't have to do like a maroon color. You could do a nice tan or brown or any moto jacket that you have. I just happened to have this maroon one and I thought it looked really cute. So that is outfit number two. Let's move on to number three. So outfit number three, if I had to choose, I would say that this one is my favorite. How cute is this pleated little fall floral dress? Come in a little closer and you can see all of the rusty fall florals and I just love the pleats. I think it's just so fun and flirty. I am wearing a size small in this and it is not too tight. It fits great. One thing I forgot to mention on both this dress and the romper is that it has adjustable straps. It has two buttons on the back strap so you can either let it out or take it up. You can adjust these a little bit, which is really nice. You normally can't do that in a romper or a dress. Of course, this is nice and cool in the hot weather, and this can be dressed up really easily. So to dress it down and make it a little bit more casual, I have on sneakers with it. I love these sneakers, by the way. These have a touch of snake skin, so it adds another good fall trend element to the outfit. And you can never go wrong in the fall with a hat. So this is just a really adorable outfit, in my opinion, and perfect for when it's still 90-something degrees outside. So as I was getting ready to transition this outfit to cooler weather, I put on the booties for cooler weather, um, and then I put on this belt. I thought this would be another good option for warmer weather. You're gonna be wearing a booty, but still your arms and legs are exposed. It's nice and cool. And then I just added the belt around the middle for detail, a little bit of a layered look without adding any heat whatsoever. So this is another good option for warmer weather. Let me show you now how I wear it for the cooler temperatures. So lots of options here. You could leave the belt on, you could leave your hat on, but I just wanted to add booties and a moto jacket. I love to mix feminine and edgy. So you have the feminine floral dress with pleats and then you put a little bit edgier moto jacket on with it. It adds warmth, it adds texture, and then I picked my black studded booties to add even more edge and texture and I'm just in love with this outfit. If I added the hat, it would definitely be icing on the cake. Let me go ahead and go get that. And now it is perfect. I think the hat adds just enough and really finishes off the outfit. So there you have it. Those are my three fall floral outfits that you can wear both now and later as the temperatures get cooler. So I hope that you found this helpful. Um, as somebody who lives in Texas where it's hot almost into November, this is how I actually have to dress. Like I have to figure out a way to incorporate the fall and get my fix. And then of course I don't want to wear it for just a month or two. I want to be able to incorporate it into my actual fall wardrobe. 
So this is exactly what I do. So I hope that you took away some good ideas from this video. If you liked any of these pieces, like I said, they're all from Target and then everything else that I'm wearing. If it's still available, I will be sure and definitely link it down below for you. So thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this type of video, be sure and subscribe down below if you haven't already. And I will see you all in my next one. Bye.